Hello, my name is Petros Kotupis and I'm going to be showing you a video tutorial of our SCSI Trace Linux kernel module. If we navigate to the PROC SCSI directory and list all connected SCSI devices, we will see every device that SCSI Trace will be tracing. In our example, I want to specifically focus on the SCSI disk device attached to host 1 that is the second from the top. This device corresponds to the dev stb block device node. When the kernel has been recompiled with the SCSI trace patch, you will notice that a new proc file exists in the proc SCSI directory. This file is named SCSI trace. Enabling tracing is a very simple procedure. All you would need to do is write SCSI trace enable to the SCSI trace proc file. In our example, we will be using the command echo to redirect it into the file. Now to disable tracing, just replace the word enable with disable. Let us now enable tracing and begin by writing to the dev sdb block device. In Linux, it is very common to see all kernel messages displayed in the first virtual terminal of the system. But as we can see, tracing has begun. Now let us disable SCSI tracing. and go look at our kernel messages log. I will now scroll to the bottom of the log file. Observe how we have a large listing of SCSI traces across devices connected to both SCSI hosts. Let us find our way to the beginning of the trace log. And notice host1 and the read command issued to it. It is followed by multiple read, write, and even inquiry commands. And there you have it, a brief tutorial of the SCSI Trace Linux kernel module.